pounding their head against the wall, just keep saying, we believe, we believe, we believe, this is what we believe. But when you listen and you really think about all the religious mantras, like for example, the Christian, we believe in one God, or the Islamic, there is no God but God, all of these, it's saying the same thing. But instead, we're tearing each other apart. And so many, now millions of people have died in the name of religion when it's all the same message and all the same dogma. And so this we believe is about just everyone just saying, we believe, we believe, this is what we believe. And it's like, if they would stop and actually listen to what they're saying, we're all saying the same thing. And so it's my underlying message of trying to say, you know, listen and learn and just stop it the would, wars. It would be so wonderful if they all could hear that or see mm -hmm. that and, and realize that they're fighting over nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you were going to say something. Oh, no, it's just, you know, some other paintings that I have, for example, it's the Gerber baby, because I like using iconic imagery that everyone will recognize, mm -hmm. and it has a suicide bomb pack around it, and pictures of dead and injured, injured Iraqi babies, mm -hmm. because in my mind, it's like if it was the blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby, people would be marching in the streets saying, stop, stop killing of these innocents, mm -hmm. and it just, you know, it's not happening, so I like doing work that's like you know such as your piece that's really in someone's face and might make them cringe but it's going to make them think and hopefully make them change right. related to your we believe made mm -hmm. me think of a painting that i made it's more literal mm -hmm. i think in a way than yours that's not good or bad but mm -hmm. could we see and that painting fits in with uh, your life work of helping to promote women's mm -hmm. rights, women's art. And the name of that painting is Women's Rights Denied. Uh, I wish I could see the original. It's amazing. It's really awesome. And uh, let's see. You must come to my home someday. And I also want to say um, my wife does, says no to that painting. She has it, doesn't allow it in the house. Why? She finds it so offensive to women. And, hmm. and some women would, another woman came in and she started to cry when she saw it. And she says, it doesn't belong in a house, it belongs somewhere else. But what I was doing was trying to remind women of how they are controlled. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe I'll just do a little, little literal uh, explanation. By the way, there's a faceless woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, women are not even, have a face in many mm -hmm. places, even in the United States. And then there's this life preserver around her neck, you know, that they throw out in the water. And we have this organization called Rescue. And they rescue pregnant women, or mm -hmm. they rescue the babies. So I had one, a life preserver around the neck choking the woman because that's you know and then I had a, a member of the rescue group with his hand under her breast pushing down the stomach <laughs> to force the baby out mm -hmm. and her legs were spread apart and there's this big red thing mm -hmm. holding one of the legs spread apart to make sure the baby comes out and maybe the red gown like that reminds me of a cardinal Mm -hmm. from maybe a, a religion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I, had a, I, I enjoy making paintings. Uh, well, that is definitely a piece I would have liked to have seen in my show. Well, Unfortunately, it was only open to women. However, it's like that's right on target. Okay. Now, I think it's nice that you had this wonderful show in San Francisco called Control. But I would like to ask... What is happening? I mean, is that the only important movement that's happening to bring women's art to the forefront of our thinking? Are there any other major events happening around the world? Well, right now, and this is extremely significant, the Pompidou Center in Paris right now, it, it start, opened in June, it'll be for an entire year, is just showing only women's art from their collection. And that is significant because on the average, museum collections show two 
to maybe 7% of the entire collection is women. And so right now, this you know, collection is all women's art. And I really think it's opening the door, and I hope, and I know, no, I know it will cause a lot of change in the future mm -hmm. for the way people perceive what is a quality museum yeah. show. And I would say, I mean, without hearing what else is happening, mm -hmm. it's clear the French are taking a lead mm -hmm. in art. Yes. Because women's rights is clearly in the air. And mm -hmm. you know, as we go, f in my opinion, as we go forward, we are going to see women fighting and getting more and more rights. And the French are reflecting that. Mm -hmm. Maybe ahead of us, unless you can tell me there are things happening that are even more significant than the Pont de, de Padu. That really is the most significant museum show. I mean, there was a show recently that whacked the feminist res revolution in um, in L.A., which was very good. But no, we have. There's a lot of work to be done, and you know. But there's a you know a couple different organizations. Like I'm on the board of the not the national organization, but the Women's Caucus for the Arts, and they're very significant in getting women's work out there and creating really powerful exhibitions. This path, my way of helping make the world a better place Good. of with these messages of, even though they're not, not very pretty, making people think so this world is not, so we can create a sense of peace and yes. unity. Yes, I plan to be there and three pieces of good advice help women or men promote and help recognize the importance of women's art and we have one minute one minute okay so one is you know find define your vision and create that and finding in mostly in the peninsula it's very rich with opportunities to show your work of getting involved in different community arts organizations and then just using good old, good old Google. But most of all, it's like just creating your vision and don't give up. And join some of the associations you are involved yes. in. My guest is Karen Goodfriend. I'm Michael Killen.